how is it going Samsung users Mr Android here well if you are using a Samsung Galaxy device then i'm sure you might heard of goodlock goodlock is a free application made by Samsung which lets you fully customize your phone and take it to the next level with that being said in today's video i will be showing you eight useful goodlock settings that you should apply on your Galaxy phone right now make sure to watch this video till the very end also let's aim for 1000 likes on this video so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started All right guys first thing first if you don't have goodlock installed in your phone just go to your galaxy store and search goodlock it's a free application you don't have to pay anything so just go ahead and download the app for those who are unable to find this application you can go to your play store and search find lock it works exactly like the goodlock application now the first thing that i want to show you is if you look at my recent apps menu it looks quite different and much better than the basic layout that we get in samsung phones to spice up your recent apps menu just go to your good lock open the home up module and enable task changer here you can choose different kinds of layout and easily change the appearance of your recent apps menu not only this it also lets you adjust the background blur you can turn on this mini mode which is a friendly setting for one hand usage so if you are getting bored with your stock multitasking panel go ahead and try out this module next if i open my notification panel i get six toggles in a single row instead of just five Also if I swipe from the right I directly get access to my quick settings and by swiping from the left I have all my notifications you can customize all these settings by using a module called quick star just go inside quick star make sure you turned it on and then enable show device button grid once you done open your notification panel tap on this three dots and select button grid this enables you to increase or decrease the number of grids on your quick panel you can change it to 4 5 or even 6 One more setting that you need to enable in Quick Star is open Quick Panel directly. What it does is it lets you access your quick settings from the right side and you can have all your notifications from the left. While using any application, I can simply swipe down like this and it will open up in a pop-up window. You can have multiple apps open and they could keep floating on your screen so you can use them simultaneously and it also lets you reposition them as well. Now to get this on your phone, go to Good Lock and select MultiStar. You have to enable this feature called as pop-up view action and then you can adjust the gesture size which is basically the activation area. Once you are done, it will definitely enhance the multitasking experience on your Galaxy device. Next, let me show you how to get these beautiful clock styles on your lock screen as well as the always on display. By default, you only get few clock styles in your settings, but you can go into your good lock and download this module called clock face. Now you get access to a whole new bunch of clock face for your lock screen and your always on display. If you look at this list it's really good looking they are beautiful new and they are not boring like the default ones I will highly recommend you to try them out Next if I open my app drawer I get all my applications with a grid size of 7 by 7 If you press and hold on your home screen select settings here it only allows you to set the grid size up to 5 by 5 So in order to add more applications in a single page all you have to do is open your good lock go inside the home up module select home screen and here you are able to stretch the grid size to 7 by 7 layout which is a great thing you can also add up to 9 applications in your dock by default samsung only allows you to add 5 applications but with the help of this module you can add more applications that you use frequently other than this it even has this option called hide app labels once you turn this on it will hide the app names and you will have a much cleaner look well a lot of you ask me which keyboard do i use and how i get these beautiful effects while typing anything on my keyboard to get these kind of effects and animations on your default samsung keyboard you need to have this good lock module called keys cafe simply install it on your device and now you are able to fully customize your keyboard you can add different effects change keyboard themes keyboard layout and even you can add some cool sound effects as well overall if you just want to enhance your typing experience then definitely try out this module so that's pretty much it guys These are some very useful settings that you can easily apply by using the Samsung Goodlock application. If you guys liked this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr Android and I will see you guys in the next one.